How's it going traders? Your boy TJ dropping another video. I hope everyone had a good weekend and a safe trading week last week. Today, I'm going to talk about how to be actually become a successful slash profitable trader within the first year of trading. I learned the hard way from many mistakes made, but also there are new ways to make money in the Forex industry now. Times have changed. If you are new around here, like and subscribe to my content. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday main channel videos. One short every single day on this channel at 6 to 7 p.m. as well. The grind is real. If you also watch other content creators make Forex videos on YouTube, I react to them on TJFX Reacts. Link is all down below in the description. Like I said, also the free trades as well. You have to get in these groups. It's all free. I'm going to pump out content. 2023 is coming up. You will see the level up coming. The withdrawals are going to be massive. The trades are going to be insane. It is lock in mode. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. When starting off, the biggest thing is passion wanting to actually become a success <laughs> wanting to become an actual successful trader is one thing however putting in the time and effort researching and making it a lifestyle is another thing when trading the focus isn't there long-term goals aren't made and neither are short-term goals it's just trying to get rich quick there's no real longevity when a lot of beginners start trading in the industry you're going to lose money as soon as you start if you invest real money if you're on a demo account you're not going to lose any money therefore you're not going to quit you're going to learn a skill for free instead of costly mistakes being made which is why it's gone a heavily wrong in around a decade plus and even further most traders out there advertising brokers the brokers you have to like deposit and then when you deposit into that account you have to trade a certain amount of lots they'll get the CPA commission, happy days, the advertisers are making money, the individuals who are beginners trading, they aren't because they're using high risk as their peers or their fake gurus doesn't actually care about them. And that's the, you know, that's the upsetting thing. At the start, a lot of traders, most traders probably get into this sort of cycle where they can't get profitable, they're not taught risk management, and there's no real teaching from themselves they're not actually going out their way to learn to read charts they're not going out their way to sacrifice and playing video games to looking at trading videos and if you don't have a big interest in it you're not going to stay very long i feel like now there's a better understanding with the forex community on not getting rich quick if that is the case then we should see beginners start to progress a lot faster as when you lose your money to trading it's a setback and if you're constantly every month depositing money but then getting set back, there's no actual development in your trading which is going to cause a negative impact on being successful within the year. That's why I said get a demo account, learn actually how to trade first, don't just go all guns blazing. The human brain nowadays is quick dopamine hits, everyone tries to get, you know, they want to get in shape faster, they want to get rich quicker. Everyone wants to just get it now instead of grinding towards it and that is why people struggle to actually become a successful trader But one way to do this is by not losing your money Deposit into live accounts get a demo account read charts use YouTube videos to look up other content creators Listen to them and don't invest money actually into it. This shit is free Creating a winning strategy can be very difficult when starting trade. A lot of traders starting won't even know terminologies with trading. They won't know how to risk manage or even move SL to entry. You're literally reading the screen of random numbers going up and down. And if you look deeply into how MetaTrader or let's say the charts work, is that it's constantly dopamine hits. Your trades in profit goes out of profit, goes in profit, then could hit SL. It's always playing with your emotions, which is why you shouldn't trade every single day. You should just take multiple setups that you think are going to come in. And if they do, then your risk reward should be good enough to then make profit. This is how you become a profitable trader. It's all to do with risk reward. You can have bigger sales as long as you're risking correctly on a risk management app, calculating everything. You're more than capable of becoming successful by doing that. The, the issue is, is multiple entries 
because you want to try and make more money there's no need to make more money you're going to make money in the long run so you don't need to force it but having that good strategy will increase your win rate massively and it doesn't matter using 10 pip of sales to 10 pip take profits one to one you can use five pip of sales or and this i advise every trader to do is to see if you can read a market direction on the daily weekly 4h 1h then 15 minutes see where the trades actually go in see if it's an uptrend or a bearish downtrend and if it's bullish then wait until it comes back on the lower high to get into the trade on a buy have the sl 30 40 pips catch 120 pip trade make potentially three four to one you, know, you can even make a one to one the, the point of this is is that you don't have to over trade even if you make two percent profit in a month you've made two percent profit in a month i advise to use risk management at the start 0.5 to one percent risk bigger sls get to grips with the industry get to grips with your trading strategy get to grips with yourself understand how your emotions will play a fact with trading because they will there's going to be ups and downs always will be with trading but it's what you do with them ups and downs to develop you to become a better profitable trader for the near future one of the biggest things is a trading plan trading plans are set out and i'm going to say this right now for your own benefit it's your own trading plan how many people right now do not stick to their trading plan watching this video? I know a lot of you don't stick to your trading plan. And if you don't stick to your trading plan, then you aren't actually sticking to yourself. You can't, you're not, you don't have that self-control where you can go every single day disciplined, doing the same technique, the same way that you did it the day before, without shooting yourself in your own foot, without messing up, without making the mistakes that you would have made a few years ago it's always about growing as a trader understanding how markets move understanding how to risk manage every single trade and being okay with that knowing that you're only setting yourself to trade maybe once or twice in a week and sticking to that seeing the improvements creating your own longevity by following the trading plan which you have actually put out for yourself you, you know what you need to do is when you've been trading, let's say you trade for a week or two on a demo account and you understand what mistakes you've made. You keep making these mistakes. You are out of trading plan. So what's going on? I'm mentally deflated. I need to take breaks of trading. Therefore, I shouldn't trade a lot because out of 10 trades, I've only got, I've got five right. Therefore, I need, I'm over trading. There was no progress from trading once or trading twice, sorry, to five times to 10 times. It's, it's you got to find the correct balance for yourself. When you don't need the money or when you're not seeking to get rich quick for your own sake, for it to benefit you for your own reasons, could be in debt, that is just a no-go. That is just the biggest no-go ever. You're not trying to do this to get out of debt. You're trying to do this to better your future. But at the start, it's to develop the skill with in trading. You've got to develop the skill before you can do anything. A trading plan massively helped me out. And I know a lot of my members and people that follow my trades, they also use a trading plan and it massively helps them out too. If you can't stick to your trading plan, then you're not disciplined enough and you need to just start being disciplined. Can't teach it, you've got to do it. If you can't do it, then that is your own problem. You need to go find yourself. And that's just the facts. That is what it is. If you want this, you will make sure that you don't have any negative effect towards your growth for the development in the future. Last but not least, track and record your trade. Previously, I just mentioned on the trading plan, if you look onto your trades when you're tracking them, you win five out of 10. So you've lost five. Would it have benefited me if I didn't actually trade the last few trades? Probably yes. So being able to track your win rate and loss rate is massively important with also your R to R. It's something that really makes you a profitable trader. I said at the start, the risk reward is a key factor in trading. It is a massive factor in trading when you are a beginner and also an experienced trader. Percent was something when I first started trading, it wasn't part of the whole educational purpose of the group I was following. They said use 2.0 lots on a 500 pound account. Terrible, terrible lots, terrible risk, 
terrible reward because I was losing a lot more percent than I wanted to. Having that risk management and that risk to reward keeps it very, very safe. You're entering the trade with 1%, you've got a potential 5 to 1, which means you can make 5% out of the trade or you're going to hit SL to minus 1%. Being able to track, oh, I'll move, I move break even on the last trade. Every single trade I move break even, it comes back and it goes into profit. Tracking that, see if break even is good for your strategy. Is break even sometimes not even good? Moving that SL to entry can affect your win rate because you're, even, though you're cl even though you're closing for no losses, write it down. If I didn't close, would I have made profit? Would I have made profit here or did it, would it have tapped me out for minus 1%? And it's all a learning curve. And within a year, everyone should be profitable. I know a student of mine, he is already profitable on a prop firm account. He got funded, he's 19. It's possible. The new year is coming up. 2023 is only round the corner. Don't start when January comes around. That is a poor mentality to have. It's time to start now. We're all going to grind together, improve our trading, join up the free trading group. I want to join up the Discord as well. We need to get everyone in the community trading very, very smartly, making percent and just taking over in 2023. If you are with me, subscribe and like this content. I hope my top tips have helped you. It's just what I've learned in the end of the day. I can only teach you what I'm learning and what I've learned from the past. So, hope you have enjoyed it. It's been your boy TJ. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you all in a bit. Peace.